What's going on, guys? Welcome to Effective Revision. Per statistics, on average, human beings have 7,000 thoughts per day, different types of thinking, problems, and decisions. We have critical, logical, creative problems and need to make decisions. You have academic life, personal life, and career life. The decision you found difficult to make somewhere someone else has already decided it is all about what you think how you think when you think why you think negative thinking can take you to a path you do not want to move towards positive thinking can take you to the path you've always wanted to move towards just one thought away from excellent or disaster just remember people with or without money have problems People with good or bad health have problems. Avoiding problems isn't the way to go. Jim Ron once said, Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge. Wish for more wisdom. One way it gets better for you is when you get better. After getting deeper knowledge about yourself. Life will send you signals. Or force you to change the universe sends you ways and energy just to guide you where you are thinking about going just like Earl Nightingale once said we become what we think about most of the time and that's the strangest secret this is why thinking is so vital if you think about nothing you become nothing if you are thinking about making changes in your life change will be made without you forcing it Peace of mind is something that is hard to find. Once you found it, it is the best thing you will ever know within yourself. I think everyone has their own ways to find peace. It could be working out, dancing, cooking, etc. There are a few ways that I found my peace. Enjoying classical music, traveling, drawing, cycling, learning, and also writing. Having a peaceful mind doesn't necessarily mean you have to stop learning, stop having fun, just sit at home, not being productive. It's totally the opposite. It's basically what you are consuming, eating, watching, listening, and doing. I think once you know who you really are and what you want for yourself, what you like and dislike, or in life in general, here is a speech of what Oprah has to say about that. Knowing who you are knowing who you are being able to answer this question who am I and what do I want who am I really my answer is I am God's child I am that which is born of all that is I am as Pierre de Chardin said a spiritual being having a human experience Come trailing the breath of the ancestors yet, but trailing the breath of the angels. And understanding that because I am connected to the source of all that is, all that is possible is possible for me. That's who I am. And what do I want? I don't want to just be successful in the world you have to put in the work before you can be successful the logic metaphor of laziness and success and i quote you can't expect to get fire and heat before adding the wood we've got to put the wood in before expecting fire and heat Earl Nightingale. 15 minute call got canceled you had a packed day 15 hour day it got canceled what are you doing in that 15 minutes and by the way Sometimes those 15 minutes are absolutely worth calling your mom, calling your daughter, FaceTime with your kids. But it's just making every minute count. Every minute has to count. Every minute has to count if you want so much because you just don't have as many of them as you think. That's it for today, guys. If you like this video, feel free to share it with someone that might be interested in this topic. Thank you for watching. Effective Revision.